Welcome for discovering a small difference in the brains of gay and straight men. But he doesn't consider homosexuality to be abnormal. I didn't find anything wrong in the brains of the gay men that I looked at. There was a difference in structure, but there was nothing pathological there that I could see to say, yeah, this is like a disease or something like that. I think we have to not allow homosexuality to kind of come in back to, through the back door as a mental illness again. Ten years ago, Dr. Richard Green led the successful campaign in American psychiatry to no longer regard homosexuality as a mental illness. There's more of a social and moral and religious condemnation than there is any kind of of empirically based data that this constitutes a mental illness. Once you come from a different viewpoint, once you come from a heterosexual model, you see homosexuality as a deviance. Psychologist Joseph Nicolosi accuses the profession of abandoning those homosexuals who want to become straight. What keeps me going against the uh, tide, the political tide, is that I know that these men change there's a long and I think very sordid history of people promising that possibility or holding it out as a possibility to their patients and then having to deal with the letdown, the suffering and sometimes the suicide attempts that come from not in fact being able to attain that. Like so many gays, Dan Kaspersky looms as an exception to the popular theories about homosexuality. Neither nature nor nurture fully explains it. I grew up in the Liba to Beaver family with a strong father and a, a mother who stayed home and took care of us, and just the perfect family. Um, whereas I know other people who grew up in a very dysfunctional family and are heterosexual. Some homosexuals and researchers say that exploding the stereotype should lead to greater tolerance. Others point out that logic seldom prevails over emotion. Dan Rutz, CNN Medical News. For a more in-depth look at this issue, watch our 30-minute special this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern.